Hello all and welcome to another Let's Play Dwarf Fortress tutorial. This is going to be episode 5. When we left off I think I said I was going to build a military and to deal with this uh, dwarf in a strange mood down here. Um, and we should get started with that before we begin also one other thing I found that uh, one dwarf has eaten at the legendary dining hall I'm gonna select this dwarf here using the K key press enter twice uh, your vet rest good has been happy lately she dined in a legendary dining room recently which means um, I successfully built enough value in that room so they can receive a happy thought when they dine in that room uh, that it's a good thing that keeps the dwarves a lot happier than just dining in a regular dining hall. Alright, so what we need to do is I'm going to build two things. I'm first going to build a room up here. One. This is for something else I'm going to be doing in the future. I'm not going to connect it yet because we need to build the other room first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. I'm going to build that for a bookkeeper. For now, I'm going to build a barracks for our. Um, I'm going to keep the same height as this room over here. Build some barracks for our dwarves so they have a place to train, fight, and spars. And that, that trains up their fighting abilities. Um, oops. You always have to connect the rooms here. Let's see. Da -da. And. Da -da. All right. There's a couple things I need for the uh, the barracks or the base of the military. I need some beds. So let me. I'm gonna construct about three beds, and I use that from the carpenter. I hit Q, and I went to the carpenter's workshop for view. Um, I'm gonna go k k hit Q and go to masons and hit A for add and I'm going to add a armor stand and hit A again and then use the minus and plus sign to get down there do a weapon rack you need those a weapon rack or an armor stand in your uh, barracks so escape and let that continue also I'm going to build more traps we probably need more traps in this hallway um, let me see if they linked up that uh, doorway by the way nope not yet when they link it up I'll show you a quick what happens when you close that door when you pull the link to, or pull the lever it'll close the front door uh, and block everyone in there actually I need to make some more bins it looks like let me take a look here at the K We got a lot of mugs to trade, so if I get humans, I'm going to trade with them. Yeah, that's all filled up. So we need to make some more bins. I'm going to build about five more bins. And we need to start thinking about making some weapons. And I don't think we've got any... Actually, I need to make some doors for the... Uh, hallway at the ver the barracks as well. So let me add. And we'll make some doors. Just two doors. Yeah, I don't think I've got any weapons. Uh, dwarves can wrestle. I mean, it's not 100% necessary for dwarves to have weapons, but it's something you recommend because a wrestler will al always get killed by a um, uh, creature with. Unless they're a master wrestler, which been known to like, they'll be able to tear throats out or tear gouge eyes out and bite throats and rip off arms. On occasion, you can have amazing dwarfs uh, that will do things like that. But generally, you want to give your dwarfs weapons so they actually can have an advantage of whatever they're trying to kill. Uh, especially if they're untrained dwarfs, you want them to have um, the ability to kill their opponents with some type of weapon. I looked at my stockpile here and you can tell by this little icon the little line that usually means a weapon. I got one copper battle axe. I think I brought two. One for the uh, 
the wood ca uh, carpenters carrying around to chop trees and the other one just happens to be for that um, let me see if I need to I got plenty of wood for now maybe I need to chop some more later oh and also it, on the last video I mentioned they didn't seem they were like uh, moving items to the stockpile but for whatever reason uh, they're using the wheelbarrows to put stones in the stockpile as you can see there um, getting because you can see here that there's stones still everywhere and that's just because they haven't cleared the stone out and put it in the stockpile um, it really doesn't matter that doesn't cause any bad effect to have stones laying around it just it kind of looks bad that's about it uh, and they get in the way of other stockpiles so basically that's the main issue um, alright let's see I am build a door here and a door here and I'm gonna do a bed one here one here one here and I'm going to build the armor stand in the same it's the same menu just at B to build A for armor stand and I'm gonna put one here on this side and then I'm gonna look for a dun, 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 I need a weapon stand, which I'm looking through the list here. Weapon rack, not weapon stand. It's weapon rack. Place it over here. So what happens is when dwarves go on off duty, oh, we got some migrants. Um, so when dwarves go on off duty they will put their weapons on the weapon rack and armor on the armor stand so they don't have to go put it and go all the way to the stockpile and pick it up from there uh... how many doors did we get you oh we got fifty three by the way fifty fifty is the magic number uh... for when you can possibly get invasions usually won't get invasions in the first two years but uh... you will get more invasions after that and it looks like I need to make more beds down here. It looks like they're filling it up. Uh, so I'm going to make some more beds while we're at it. Hey, how many we got there? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Is that six or five? Yeah, it's five. We're going to make five beds. Actually, let me see if we got another. Uh, I'm gonna see if we got another mason or stone crafter. We got a lot of engineers. It's not really necessary. We got a surgeon. We got a broker now. We got three dwarven kids. Uh, surprised they haven't been making babies, uh, but I guess they will eventually here. Um, I'm gonna take this I'm gonna take this um, this uh, ranger here I'm gonna convert him into another uh, stone crafter because I want to make I need to be making a lot of pots for things uh, I'm gonna hit uh, M oops not M N for V then Y, then N, I'll call him Stonecraft. And I'm going to change his profession. Again, that's the P, L. Turn off his hauling. I'm going to turn off his hunting. Using the shift enter twice. And we're going to turn on Stonecraft. And I'm going to build another using B, W, and craft dwarf shop because I need to be making more pots I at the same time we're making mugs um, we need some pots to go along with that for our food I, I think we see I can tell that because food is not in the stockpile and we need to make a lot of more pots to put them in there uh, to keep them from being attacked by vermin and so on uh, all right, so we built the hall. People are sleeping in the beds, I guess. All right, first thing we want to do is make it a door, uh, a a uh, barracks. I'm gonna hit Q. 
select the middle bed, make bedroom. Uh, I guess that size is fine. And I'm going to hit B for barracks and hit yes. And that turns into a barracks. We don't have a squad yet, so it's not going to be assigned to a squad. And I think we can do this hit Q. We'll make this an armory on this side. Actually, I don't think it's necessary to make both armory or whatever. All right, but I did that anyway. All right, so first thing we need to do is uh, I am going to do something normally and most people don't do. Um, and I'm going to assign my military people names so I can recognize them that I've signed them names. All right. Uh, all right, we're going to go here, and I'm going to hit uh, U, not U, I'm backwards here, V, Y, N, and we'll call this Soldier, Soldier 1, and we'll do, the, we'll do the, each one of these Fisher guys as, we're, we're going to do five Soldiers, so V, Y, N, Soldier 2. And VYN Soldier 3. VYN Soldier 4. I messed that up. Alright. Uh, VYN Soldier 4. I'm pressing Enter. VYN Soldier 5. Alright. Now I gotta go through the tedious task of turning off all the soldiers' um, tasks. You, they can't be military and do tasks at the same time. There's some bugs that cause problems. So I'm gonna hit C on the first one. Turn off hauling. Turn off fishing by hitting the Shift Enter. I have to go back to the U, men U menu. It's kind of annoying. Hit C. Turn off hauling and fishing and his hunting. I think we're down to three. Turn that off. Shift enter. Go to four. Oh, I forgot my fifth soldier. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe it's better to name them as you go along so you remember which ones you've turned the um, the uh, the hauling or and the tasks the uh, industry tasks as they call it uh, let's see V Y N this will be our soldier 5 and keep in mind you can keep up to 10 soldiers in the squad I'm not going to do that just yet I'm I like to keep my squ squads kind of small uh, to start out with. All right, so we've turned off all that. So they're only in soldier and name right now. We actually need to assign them to a squad. So to do that, I am going to go to uh, hit the M for military screen. And I'm going to create a new squad by hitting C in Charlie. And by default, you want to do metal armor. That'll they'll, st they'll still put on leather armor if there's no metal armor. Um, so that's what you want. The metal is the best armor for anybody in the military, um, unless they're an archer, which I don't, I don't. I think they still need metal, in my opinion. So I'm going to do metal armor. And the first one, I'm going to back out for a second. And I'm at M, uh, I'm sorry, N for nobles. Now I'm going to assign them to one of the uh, militia commanders. As one of the N is for nobles, like different classes, like your expedition leader, militia sheriff, so on. I'm not using any except for the broker. I'm going to do militia commander, and I am going to do soldier one. Because he was the first guy on the list. He's going to be the militia commander. By default, he is the going to be the leader of the 
military. So I hit back to M key and it automatically put the militia commander in, in row one. I don't know if for whatever reason you can't add them from this menu. You have to go and add them to the nobles. All right. Now, a lot of people go through the list and find dwarves with some skills, some military skills. I don't do that. I'm using the arrow keys instead of the plus and minus on the screen, if you're wondering. And then enter to select. So I'm going to go and go through the list. Yes, none of these people have any real. This guy's a swords dwarf, a fish cleaner. I don't care. Um, I'm going to stew with my numbering. They'll train up anyway. So I'll do soldier two. It goes down to section three. Oh, where am I? It's hard to see where you're highlighted on this menu. Soldier three. Use the arrow key to get over there again. Soldier. Where'd he go? There's soldier five, but I need soldier. There he goes. Soldier four. See how hard it'd be to remember these names if you had like particular dwarves you wanted to select. That's why I nicknamed them. So I can know which ones are going to be in the military. And we got Soldier 5. All right. And everything else you don't really have to mess with um, as far as equipment goes. You can go in equipment and specify individual weapons. Like you can go in here and let me just, for example, change the militias. By default, they get to choose whatever weapon they are good with. Uh, for whatever reason, if you don't want that, I'm going to hit, um, what do I have to do? Hit enter to delete this item. And then I'm going to do capital W for weapon. And I can specify any particular weapon that I want. Maybe I want him to use only battle axes. And he'll only use battle axes uh, from that point. Uh, I'm going to delete that and hit W again. I, w I don't care. I want him to choose whatever. Whatever's available, <laughs> probably. All right. Now, once you've got a military set up, you want them to actually train and get better. Um, by default, if you have just pick a dwarves that have no skills, they'll, they don't know how to dodge. They don't know how to swing their weapons. They're not very good. So um, I am going to... Uh, set up a schedule and it's on this M for military screen. I'm hit S for schedule and this is a complicated thing. I, I don't know why uh, it's complicated but it is. So while we're inactive uh, I am going to create uh, hold on. I want to leave inactive on there just to have it inactive. I'm going to go back a menu and I'm going to alerts. Okay, never mind. It, it has active training there already. For some reason I didn't know that it had active training. I forgot about that. It has active training. That's a schedule you can create. I'll come back to this when we have an invasion. Um, maybe I'll show you that in a second. Uh, let me do that in first <laughs> actually since we're here. I'm going to hit C to add alert. And I'm going to name this alert by hitting capital N. And I'm going to call this Siege. And all right, I'm going to show you something important here. And this is kind of important. When you have a siege, you don't want your dwarves outside. So I'm going to set up a burrow by hitting the W button on the main menu and hit A to add new burrow. I'm going to hit uh, Enter to define this burrow. And to name it, I'll call this Home Base home base and now I need to paint the burrow of everything that we've got selected so I have to go and uh, I want to start it from the trade depot I don't want them to be out in the hallway now this is kind of tedious to set up but once you do it you're you're good and you want you want a burrow you don't want to let them just run outside to pick up what happens is like when somebody dies the dwarves want to pick up their items and so somebody dies the dwarf goes oh item runs outside 
and whatever's out there, like a dragon, goblin, or whatever, he kills them. Another dwarf goes, oh, more items, and runs out there and also dies horribly. So then you've got all your dwarves running outside, trying to pick up things like socks and, I don't know, whatever they can get their hands on, and they keep on dying. Um, and you don't want that. So I'm filling out a burrow here by using the enter button to set up a range. This is where they're allowed to go. Uh, outside this area they won't, they can't and won't go when the burrow is active. Um, I need to build more beds by the way. Actually, and you, and you gotta do this multiple levels. Oh, I messed up. What am I hitting the wrong? Alright, there we go. And uh, I, have to, I have to do this both all the levels otherwise they won't go to these areas when the alerts on and you, you want them to do that all right want them to be able to get to the brewery of course so they need the alcohol and the trash depot because when you're in a siege you might be inside a siege for a while and you don't and eventually if you have a if you're siege and you can't fight them off and they don't want to come in to fight your um, your arm or your fight fight on your traps um, they will eventually go away it just takes a while like a siege will just hang out the siegers will hang outside and just mill around for a while until they have something to kill if they don't have any something to kill eventually they'll go away um, but uh, make sure I got my depot there and I think I've got everything selected alright this is important so home base is selected and let's say somebody invades you go to your military screen first thing you do is you go to um, A for alerts you use the arrow keys to go to siege you scroll over and you select make sure home base has been activated and that way once I escape everyone will be I get these messages there uh, craft horse cancels fish why is the craft store? F oh, he's still set to fish. I, I need to fix that. <laughs> but uh, they're not allowed to go outside, so they're canceling their activities and they're rushing back inside. Your cats and dogs, of course, won't uh, follow that order, so they'll probably get killed outside. Uh, all right. Good thing we went got the military. Our uh, cook has just gone berserk. Um and we didn't get a chance to train our soldiers um, alright uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off that military alert luckily it pauses it when it when something goes berserk I'm gonna unpause it and go to alerts I'm going to select inactive so that turns inactive turns off with the A is not selected that people will be able to go outside again alright so we got a berserk. Let's imagine this guy's a, a goblin at this point. You can see him here. He's he's red. I wonder what it says in his. Yeah, he loses all his thoughts. So you don't. Uh, he becomes an almost an outsider. So he's the cook's gone berserk. Now, if I unpause it, he will go and start hitting other people's, trashing the place, destroying items, making a, a horrible ass of himself. Um, he needs to die. And the way to do that is, since I build a military, I go to S to squads. And this is the de kind of random generated name of the squad that I made with it when I was in the military stream, the Granite Roars. So I select that. And I have to hit A to select on that menu for some reason. Uh, you can select multiple squads if you want uh, with the capital A and so on. At this point, I'm going to hit the K button as you see here it says K to attack and K to attack and I'm gonna select the cook press enter and the granite roars has the the uh, um, um, mess mission kill fab blah cook the cook so uh, they're gonna put him down as soon as I am posit 
let me do one other thing before I pause it. I forgot to do, 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 make rock mug. Uh, no, what was that? A fish? Fisher? Brewer? I don't know. Stonecraft. I'm figuring out which which person I had set to oh it was a rain uh, this ranger here you know I had fishing turn I don't know why that guy was fishing anyways let's see what happens to our dwarf here and once we unpause it he's going around he's oh he killed like three people oh Jesus he like killed like unpause it he killed like two people <laughs> And here's the, and you see this guy here, he's got the icon of the military dwarf. He's come to kill him. Uh, he's basically going to try to wrestle him down. I don't, I don't think he got the, it's, uh, no one's gotten the axe yet. So uh, I wish I had some weapons for them to kill him with, but I don't know. We might lose some of them before they put him down. Uh, they're shooting at him. They're shooting him, and he's still alive. He's mauled like. They're fighting him, fighting him. Uh, is he still listed as... Alright. He's dead now. They, they've they killed him. Actually, I'm going to go to the combat menu by hitting the R button on the main menu. And let's see what the cook has done. The cook... Uh, I don't know. I think it was... Wasn't it Feb? Not the other one. I guess he was attacking the other cook that was around him. The cook releases the group. <laughs> I guess he was... The hammer dwarf's third left hand. Cook charges the hammer dwarf. The cook punches the hammer dwarf in the upper body, right hand, bruising. The hammer dwarf, I don't know. I think he killed the hammer dwarf. Uh, there's a lot of fighting here. If you have time, I'm not going to read all this. It's pretty interesting to see the battle. Uh, cook. So the cook's booked down. But uh, we're left with a lot of dead people. And they're all, dwarves are probably going to be unhappy about that. Uh but he's long gone. Let me check my military screen. Yeah, we lost a soldier. One, uh, we lost the militia commander and we lost the uh, uh, soldier number four. So I need to uh, assign some more soldiers here. Where is the... Oh, any fishermen left? I like to use fishermen. Apparently they only had uh, they uh, signed themselves to be March Dwarf because I think they only had uh, crossbows available. All right. I'm not going to worry about the fourth one. We'll get more fishermen later. Uh, I'm going to sign this guy. Y N O V N Y N Soldier One. I'll go to Noble Screen. And find the soldier one, and make sure he's in the military screen. He's been assigned. All right. Um, I need when I get a, a caravan, I'll show you how to make weapons. But we've got some dead dwarves, and we need to take care of that. When dwarves die, other dwarves get upset. Also, dwarves come back as ghosts and will haunt the fort if uh, you don't bury them. So I am going to dig out a small area and we'll start, we'll start a graveyard over here near the farm. I don't know. I don't think they care where you put it. Just, I just put it anywhere. Uh, let me X to undo that and D for there. Let's put doors here and here. All right, so I'm gonna go to the queue. I'm going to go to Mason's workshop. I am going to build ten coffins. I don't think we lost that many, but it's very important to bury your dead. They all seem angry. Oh, they're, they're picking up all the clothes that the people were slaughtered and they 
when you die they strip you of everything um, and that's about it all right and there's blood dead corpses how many did we lose we lost uh, soldier one died there soldier four died there I don't see what happened to the other corpses I, I think they I don't know if they bury it they don't you have to specify corpses to bury in your your refuse pile which I haven't so they just kind of leave the corpses wherever they lay I don't see where they oh there there somebody was sleeping in the bed with the Adel Vistula's corpse. I don't know. There's a lot of corpses everywhere. So they, uh, that crisis has been averted. And I need to make pots while we're at it. Uh, since I built the craft store, if it add, go to rock, I'm going to build about 10 pots. And since we got two craft dwarfs, stone craft there. Stone graph there. They should be making two. Two of them should be working both workshops individually. Uh, they're making the coffins there. I need to make place more beds. By the way, uh, B for bed or P, B for build. B for bed. And I'm gonna put uh, right now. There's corpses in the beds. <laughs> I don't know. There's corpses in the bed. I don't know if that prevents anybody from sleeping in the bed. They, Knowing doors, they'll probably just get in the bed with a corpse and go to sleep. Uh, knowing them. Alright. And have we built... We've dug that out. Uh, building doors. I don't know. I'd, I, I'd like to door off my things. Hit B to build. I think receptacle is... No, it's J is cage. N is burial receptacle. So I'm going to place one here. And for bury. Place one here. And they'll have to keep making more. Uh, let's see. Oh, he's making pots. And they'll probably use that for the food. How much food we got? Uh, other, let me make sure the the brew pants have. Oh, when they run out of mu the pots, they will cancel their production. So I think that's what's happened here. Uh, so I need that's why I need to make more pots to have more room to put all the alcohol in. All right. Uh, I'll wait a moment for them to make pots. You know what? I'm just going to. Set this workshop to repeat on one of the, the use the minus key to get down there and hit R to repeat. So they're going to just repeat making rock pots and that, that will fill that up. Alright, so while I'm at here I'm also going to build a second trap. I feel like an invasion is an intimate. Um, you know I could make wooden weapons. But wooden weapons are almost worthless. So I'm not going to mess with that. I'm going to make wooden spikes, about 10 wooden spikes. So the carpenter will keep busy with air. What time of the year of it? We hit Z. It's late summer. We should get some human caravans soon. And that should. Let me make sure this is still set to cook. Nope. Prepare easy meal, please. Thank you. And we still have a cook that's alive. Because he killed one of the cooks when he was went crazy. I don't think so. I'm looking here. You know, some people like dwarf uh, therapists because this makes this menu a lot easier to work with. Uh, I don't really care one way or the other. Alright, I'm going to take uh, this miller here. Hit, uh, I'm going to hit the V to view Y. Name him Cook. Since we lost our last cook to the insane. 
going to turn off his hauling, turn off all his farming except cooking and butchering. So he's going to be our new cook. Over time he will get better at cooking and so on. All right, while we're waiting, I'm going to dig out this place here. And let's see if we've got more coffins filled in. All right, so we got a whole bunch of coffins. All right. All right, they'll be placing that. Now, to actually get dwarves to put bodies in coffins, you need to assign it with uh, either directly to the um, the dwarf in question, or personally, I like to do the easy way and just assign it to first come, first served. Do first come, first served. Use the Q button to go to building mode, and I'm going to select the uh, tomb here, and I'm going to hit B, use for burial, and I am going to hit... P to allow to undo allow pets so pets don't get buried here and then I'm going to repeat the process hit the next one hit B P to undo pets I wish they'd be off by default P to allow for pets because you don't want wasting coffins on pets I generally if a pet dies a it'll make the owner more happy but I, I don't care they have a legendary dining hall so they can buck up and <laughs> not cry over their dead animals all right I'm gonna make some more doors all right oh I'm gonna quickly show you what happens when I believe you close the gate all right um, first, I'm going to go to that alert screen because I don't want somebody to get squished by the gate. That'll happen if they're running right outside. So I'm going to hit M, go to alerts. I'm going to set sieged active. And i got to make sure that to add this area here. Once you, The other problem when you build a extension, you have to add it to your burrow. So I'm going to add this so they can get access to that and everyone should be inside except the cat uh, except these guys I don't know what they're doing all right they're inside what were they doing outside I don't know doors are dumb they go outside too much and I'm hit the Q button and I'm gonna select this lever here hit the A to add task P to pull the lever some doors should hit it they did it and about squished that cat there but you can see here the door is now closed there's a wall here uh, that prevents any monster from getting in the in the fort and of course it prevents the caravans if they're out there I'm gonna turn off my military alert and we'll go on alright those dead bodies are stinking make sure we got the rest of these set to bury the P, 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 because bodies will decay and make a stink and make the other dwarves unhappy. B, P, and B, P. And once they place the body in the tomb, it looks like they've done it already. It'll say, this is the resting place of whoever. That was the one cook. We lost a soldier. And we lost a gem setter. Oh, boo hoo. Presser. The other cook. The other hammer dwarf and so on. Alright. One, two, build in. Let's see Z how much we got twenty drinks. Oh, we need to turn on drinking. Alright. Uh, add new task, brew drink. Add new task, brew drink. So they'll be brewing more alcohol. Probably could do with more nest boxes once those uh animals grow up. Alright, now we need to get it back to actually getting our oh a human caravan arrived. Okay. We'll we'll trade and get some weapons from them. Hopefully get some armor. Now one thing if you do set your dwarves to actually attack something, 
I think this one is actually really sad. What, what's going on with this dwarf here? He's got an arrow. He's been happy, cling to thirst. He has witnessed death. He's lost his spouse to tragedy. Oh, he slept with a problem. Yeah, yeah, he's pretty upset. Um, he might go berserk too. I don't know. Um, we need to turn off the attack order for whatever reason. I'm gonna hit the S for squads. A to get select the thing, and I'm hit the O to cancel the attack squad. Although, if you have them kill something, they'll stand around the body until um, they're ready to, you know, do whatever. Oh yeah, now I got to trade with the human caravan, so I'm gonna go to hit Q, go to building mode, hit R to request the trader, hit G to move goods. In this case, we're just gonna move the finished good bins, which are really easy for the dwarves to move. Finish good bins, finish good bins, finished. And some shell mugs that didn't get put in the. Just making sure that was everything. That didn't get put in the bins. Um, and when the dwarves, when they move it, they'll just move the bins instead of each in individual item separately, which saves a lot of time with moving everything over. So we've probably going to get a lot of food and armor from that. Because I want to get armor to train my troops. We haven't actually got to the point where I'm showing you the schedule. Um, uh oh. A. Craft Wars canceled the drink, interrupted by Sponge Man. Uh, did he get killed by the Sponge Man? Let me hit R. No, they're not fighting. He just. He, he just got scared by the Sponge Man, I guess. Apparently they're drinking outside, even though I've got, according to the stocks, I have drinks to drink. I don't know why. Sometimes there's just not enough to drink. They, I don't know. They just they don't do their job right. I don't know. Don't ask me why they go outside to drink when there's alcohol inside. Just a little bit. Maybe because there's only so many bar. Maybe there's people actually in the barrels of the drinks drinking it. And there's no room to actually drink. So that might be the case. All right. So they're moving. Uh, my 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 uh, trader is drinking right now. All right. Well, they still haven't got everything in the fort yet. And da, 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 we run out of plump helmet spawn. We'll get more when we brew drinks. You get plump helmet when they brew drinks. Okay. There goes the. Trader, he's now in the depot. I'm gonna select the depot by Q, hit T to trade. Uh, what do we have to? Yeah, we don't have any any good metals for sale. All right, well that doesn't matter. Uh, Let me see if there's something. We buy some bronze items. Buy bronze flute, drums, copper, bronze toy box. Well, they got a lot of bronze for whatever reason. I'm going to use that. These items, by the way. Um, and I am going to go to. Alright, what do we got here? Pine bear. Oh, uh, they don't have much for sale. I'm gonna buy their chestnut barrels just to have more you know, swamp whiskey, maple barrel, maple barrel, pine barrel, maple barrel. So we got barrels for the alcohol. Alright, here we go. We got some weapons here. Um Bronze Mace, Bronze Scimitar is I don't know, it's a it's it's a foreign weapon. I, I wouldn't use it. Um, we could have another miner. I don't know. Uh, like bronze. Gr I'm gonna do copper short sword, bronze warhammer. I'm gonna buy that copper pick just for the sake of doing it. I'm not gonna buy that uh, great axe because that's way too expensive. Mm -hmm. Bronze spear. Well, I'm gonna buy the armor here: bronze buckler, copper buckler, bronze sh 
Uh, I'm probably buying way too much stuff here. Let me undo that. Yeah, I, I bought too much stuff, but... I think we got enough shell mugs to cover it, and also have what we're going to buy from the... the... Uh, the dwarves in the winter t and the, when it comes to uh, fall alright got some fox meat goat brain opa brain sea otter mosquito how can you cook mosquito well you can I don't know <laughs> apparently buy their fish all the fish you buy is prepared Fisher berries. I don't know. That's probably enough. Enough whatever. I, I bought almost 2,000 worth of goods. It's probably a little bit too much. But I needed some of those weapons. And I was going to melt down some bronze stuff to make weapons. Um, make sure I've sold them enough goods. I usually do like a thousand profit so they're happy. These are pretty good quality mugs here. All right, we got. Let me undo that one. So we got about a thousand trade trader profit. So I'm at Tita Trade, and he wants to make a counter offer. Let me enter to consider this offer. I'm not gonna give him all that. He wants more than. T to trade. All right. I didn't want to give them all that. By the way, if you didn't notice, you can seize uh, their goods. I would not recommend that. Uh, it just makes them unhappy, and they won't. Tr they sometimes will declare war on you, and they won't trade with you in a later time. So I mean, if you're really just feeling like an asshole, you can seize their goods using the S key. Or if you want to give them free goods, you can without actually trading anything w for value all right well that was kind of useless all right now we I got to finish up the min military thing because I promised to show you that um, I'm gonna go back to M screen go to military and we got to set up a training schedule for our soldiers so I'm gonna hit the S for schedule and what is this this is I have to hit the minus uh, what is this? This is active training and active. You have to use this is a weird menu to travel around. It's almost like a different part of the game. So you have to hit the uh, the slash and the star key, like the division and multiplication. So for training, by default they train when this is active. They'll train every the entire time. You don't want to do that. They get angry if they're training constantly. Um, you want to give them at least two months training and one month off. I think they have two months training to actually do something and one month off. So I'm going to edit uh, say X to cancel order. Yeah, X to cancel order each. Now if you wanted to change the order to have them do something else like maybe patrol, you can go to E to edit order. Well, if there's no order, I guess you can't edit it. You have to O to O and then you can choose O to change what you want train, patrol route, station, train. Um, patrol means they go from different points and so on. You can and station means they just stand around doing nothing, but we want them to train. Um, so I'm, I'm going to do that. And then I have to go to the military screen again and go to alerts, go to active training, and set the granite roars, hit enter. Then it puts an A beside of it on the other side, not not for home base, but the A, and that makes them train actively. Uh, from here on out, they should come to this area in the barracks, and they should train. Actually, I got to make sure we've got the barracks assigned. Yep, by default, they're set to granite roars. All right. 
and they should start training and becoming better. Now, you don't actually have to assign them to kill stuff if, if they're set to defend home base. Actually, we need to set that alert up. I'm going to hit the military alerts. And I'm going to go into... Uh, I, already, I already got a siege alert set up, so when I got a siege alert, I want the schedule at the plus and minus do we get to uh, squad activity siege and I'm gonna go ahead and choose O to give order we want to defend home base so sit select and you have to hit shift enter to get done for some reason oh didn't do it right O to give our order shift O to get schedule S to schedule I hit the plus and Go to siege using the pl uh, the the, the uh, multiplication symbol on the this asterisk. Hit o, press enter once, shift enter. All right, then it works. Now, instead of having to do that complicated thing over again, you can copy order. So I'm going to hit C to copy orders. C copy and P to paste. P, 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 and Paul. All right. So what happens is when I um, have, an, have a seed show up, I hit the A to alerts. I will switch the civilians over to siege. And I will also set granites to siege as well. That way they will patrol the home base and kill anything that comes in the fort that it finds without me actually having to set the manual order to kill it. That, that saves you a lot of trouble, especially if you got lots of things coming in. You don't want to have to hit the K to kill it. Um, actually, let me show you another trick as well. Let me hit... Uh, I'm going to make another burrow. Hit W to make burrow. A to add new burrow. We'll call this uh, inner define. We'll end the name. We'll call this defense, and I am going to put it in this hallway. I probably won't use it. All right. So we got defense. I, I go to uh, O, no M for military. S to schedules. O to go back to. Um, no, yeah. Oh, got to go to the right one first. Got to go to defend burrows. Hit O to change order. By default, it's set to home home base. We want to change. Which one do we want them to defend? We want to have them defend defense. That's the burrow that I set up to um, have them actually uh, attack. So I'm going to copy paste that all the way down because again I think I messed it. you don't actually have to tell them to go to home base when you've signed that so that means the civilians will um, go to um, the home base and they'll stay within the home base but my uh, doors will go to the defense area for the defense and they're doing that now. See the that guy is a military door. He's going there to defend um, against anybody coming in the door. So anybody comes in the door, well, they probably would take the route up here. But for whatever reason, if they are just in this area, he'll come to attack them. And that dwarf's unhappy, probably because he's on. You don't want to have him defend for too long. Uh, he's been unhappy. Fine table, dine legendary hall. I've been tired of drinking same old booze. He has complained about the draft. When they complain about the draft, it means they don't actually like standing around and doing nothing. They like killing and sometimes training, but I don't know. Uh, sometimes they don't like training either. So I'm going to go to my military, hit A. I'm going to turn off the uh, siege and I put my granite roars back to just inactive. Actually, I'm going to set them to train. and so on and why well, wasn't that screen uh, that schedule screen is, is quite complicated there's some other things you can do here that um, 
like we're training here. Let me hit uh, enter to what is it? Edit order. One thing you can do to modify this is to have as many. By default, if you had like uh, a large squad, you probably don't want them all training at once. Uh, so you would set this to like five five soldiers minimum or something like that. But since I have a small squad, I want them all training at once and when all possible. Um, hopefully that gives you enough details on how to set up training. And eventually they'll start training and you can see they're sparring in the fighting menu under R. Um, I don't know when they're going to go over there and start training because eventually they'll go and they'll kind of go in the barracks and hang out and they'll start training. Uh, for now, I'm going to... Oh, they've given birth to girl. Alright, well, so we got a, a birth in our fort. First birth I can remember. They're uh, giving birth to babies. Hopefully that won't be too many in the future. Alright, we've covered a lot in this episode, so I hopefully have shown you how to uh, set up a military, how to kill something when you need to, and basically set up schedules for them to train. Uh, and hopefully we'll get it to more next episode hopefully we'll get into actually um, metal smithing and getting more abilities to create weapons and other things of high value and we'll cover that in episode six I guess so I want to thank you for watching episode five and everyone have a good night